Welcome to this video where we are going to talk about unit testing with Spring Boot. So in this uh, simple video, we would talk about how to set up a simple Spring Boot application. We would talk about how to create a simple get service, how to unit test it, and we'll talk about how to write a simple post service and how to unit test that. So that's kind of this order that we would follow during this specific video. One of the things that we have already done is we have created a simple video. I mean, it's about a 20 minute video where you would look at completely setting up this example uh, like with a detailed focus on the services. So we will talk a lot more about the get service and the post service in that specific video. The link to that video is below in the description of this specific video. So if you are interested in creating uh, the services themselves, then I would recommend you to spend some time with that video and come back here. In this specific video, what we'll do is we'll go through the steps of one, two, and three, which is to set up and create a get service and the post service very quickly. And then we would want to focus on unit testing. So the focus of this specific video is on unit testing. We have a beautiful web uh, website called springboottutorial.com, www.springboottutorial.com, various articles in here. If you go further down, you should be able to see a lot of things related to Spring Boot. The one which I'm really interested in is unit testing REST services with Spring Boot and JUnit. That's what we would want to do. So we would want to understand what is JUnit and all the stuff that we talked about a little earlier. So references uh, are kind of great way to get started. If Spring is new to you or Spring MVC is new to you, you can go there and do those stuff. That should be a quick thing. Okay, so what what is like uh, a unit testing? So basically, one of the important things that you would need to understand with unit testing, let's take the application which is in here, right? I have a simple Spring Boot application with a controller and you have modal and you have a business service. So when I write, write a unit test for this student controller, uh, I want to only test this particular method. I don't want to test the logic of student service. What I want to do when I write a unit test for this particular thing is to make sure that when I'm calling this particular URL, it's getting direct, correctly mapped to the path variable. And once it's getting mapped to the path variable, whether I'm getting the right kind of response back. So if this is returning a specific object, is that object being converted to JSON? That's basically what I would want to unit test. I don't want to unit test the logic inside student service. Also, when I launch up a unit test for student controller, I only want to test student controller. I don't want to test, let's say there are 100 other controllers in this specific thing. I don't want to test all those controllers up. So basically what I would want to do in a unit test is just launch a simple context with just this student controller and mock the student service. So I don't want to use the real student service because I don't want to test the logic in here. What I want to do is do a mock of this and then do the write the unit test. Similar thing for the retrieve detail service as well. So when we do a unit test, all that we are interested in testing is the specific thing at hand. I just want to test this method. I don't want to worry about uh, the logic inside the other things which are related there. One of the things is uh, these examples here are very, very simple, but typically in controllers, they are simple code. I mean, you should not have any business logic in here. Uh, the only thing you would have is probably like when I'm having the, let's say this is the post service. I have a little bit of conditions in here, but that's limited too. So typically your controller should not have a lot of business logic, so they should be really easy, easy to unit test once you understand how to unit test them. So, as it says here, a key part of unit testing is restricting the scope to a minimum. In this unit test, which we write right now, we only want to test the methods in student controller. If you want to test the entire flow, we would call it an integration test and there, are, there would be a separate video for that as well. So in this video, we are focusing on unit test where we just want to test the student controller, stubbing out the student service and launching only the student controller. So the first part is to bootstrap the project. So you can easily bootstrap a simple REST service application using Spring Initializer. Just go in here, type in a group ID of, uh, it's a website, start Spring IO, and you can type in, uh, com in 28 minutes spring boot as group student services as the artifact and choose web that's the only thing that you would need if you would want you can also choose actuator and dev tools as well but those are things you would not use during this specific video so the next thing is to add a business layer so typically applications have multiple layers you need a business layer so that you from the controller you can call that 
what the business layer that we would be using in this specific video is related to students and courses so a student wants to register for a course you want to get a list of students that a course a student is registered for and things like that so what we'll do is we'll have a simple student service created so if you look at the student service that we have in here very very simple model if you want to understand uh, the details of it you can spend some time with the uh, page in here at the bottom of this page we have all the code that is used in art this article listed down so the entire code example pondered xml the student controller java course.java student.java student service.java all the stuff that you would need as that we use as part of this example is present at the bottom of the article but let's quickly look through that so the student service basically exposes a few methods right so the methods are if uh, you want to get this student uh, retrieve courses for a student so i want to get all student all courses that a student is registered for i'll use retrieve courses retrieve course i would want to get a specific course details that a student has registered for retrieve student would get the details of a specific student retrieve all students would get a complete list of students that are registered and you can use add course to register a course to a student so a student says i want to register to a course i can use the add course method that's basically the methods which are present in the student service if you are interested in the details of that i would link the article there and you would find all the code for the basic services it's pure java logic you don't need to really worry about it let's switch our attention uh, to creating that particular service creating the service again is a very very simple thing so adding a get service all that you need to do is add a rest controller and call the service so i'm calling the service dot retrieve courses i have a path variable called student id in the other service i have a path variable called student id and course id as well and i'm returning the values back what would happen is when i return a list of courses back uh, spring boot uh, when it sees that the request is for json it would convert this java object into json and return that back so when i execute a get request for this particular thing this is what i would see so when i call the service i would see this response back and this image shows how to call it from postman but what we are really interested in is now unit testing the get service so well, one of the things is we try i mean the focus of this video is on unit testing obviously so we are trying to get quickly down to the unit testing part if you are really interested in setting up the service uh, there would be a link to that particular video right below this video so let's get to unit testing now so with, when we are unit testing a REST service, we would only want to launch the specific controller. And we only want to launch the controller and its related MVC components. So there is an annotation called Web MVC Test, which is used for unit testing Spring MVC application. So what this annotation allows us to do is, as in here, specify, I want to launch only this controller up. So that's the thing which it does. So when I say add MVC test value equals student controller dot test, it will only launch that particular controller class. And because this is a Spring application, we want to auto wire stuff and everything. We want to run with Spring Runner. Spring Runner is just a shortcut for uh, something called Spring Boot JUnit 4 Class Runner. If you are familiar with writing unit tests with Spring, this is the typical class which we use. And Spring Runner is kind of a shortcut to that. The other thing is once I start using the at M M MVC test is I would need to fire requests to this. So mock MVC would allow us to do that. So it would be kind of an entry point for the server side Spring MVC test support. So you can say, I want to send a get request to this URL. I would want to send a post request to this URL and things like that. And as I said earlier, we would want to do a mock of a specific thing. So student service, we don't want to reuse the real student service. We want to mock it. So we use an at mock bean annotation for that. And this is mockito syntax, mockito dot when something, then return this. If you don't understand mockito or mock bean or any of these annotations, I really recommend you to uh, look through the video on mockito. So it's down here. So mockito is uh, one of the most popular mocking frameworks. I love mockito. So I would regularly recommend you to spend some time with that course. This is to mock this retrieve service method. So what we are saying in here is retrieve service. When retrieve service is called with any string and any string then return this mock course back that's basically what we are doing so mocking is nothing but saying okay when this method is called return this back so instead of using the real code we will use a mock and specify what the mock should do so here we are actually using the mock mvc request builder to fire a request to specific url and we are uh, using mock mvc to fire that request so we are setting the request up using mock mvc to fire that 
and we are asserting the things in here. So that's kind of the building blocks for whatever we are we would be looking at. So if you look at the test, the test is very simple, right? So student controller test, I'll launch it up in the IDE. So it's a simple student controller test run with Spring Runner because we want to launch the Spring context. We want to just fire in, launch up the student controller. So we are using at MVC test. We are auto wiring in the mock MVC because we want to fire requests. We are using a mock bean on the student service because we want to use a mock of the student service and not the real student service. And we are creating a mock course with some details. So this is just a mock course which we want to use to check the details. So let's see what's in the retrieve details for course test. So what we are saying is we are setting up the mock. So what we are saying is when retrieve course method is called on student service, then return mock course. That's what we are saying. And then we are sending a we are building a request builder. We want to fire a request to students student one dot course course one, and we say we want to accept json response back that basically is saying we want a json response back so and then we are firing that request up so we are saying okay fire a request to this url that's basically what it's doing and what we are saying here is i'm expecting these details back in the response so id is course one name is spring the description is 10 steps one of the cool things about this json asset framework is even if the response does not exactly match this so it just says, looks through the response and sees, okay, is there an ID with the value course one? It will not really worry about formatting of the request or if it has something extra in the request. So I'm saying at least expect this stuff in. The JSON assert dot assert equals is a useful method to be able to do that. So what we are doing in here is very simple, right? Unit testing Spring Boot applications is very simple. I mean, actually unit testing Spring MVC is very easy. All that I need to do is put at MVC test, launch up that controller, stub all the stuff that I would need to stub, provide the mock responses back, set up the mock, fire the request, and then we are checking what is expected. That's basically what is there in uh, unit testing this particular thing. I would really, if this is the first time you're right, uh, learning how to do a unit test, I'll really recommend you to spend some time with uh, the JUnit video that we have so that you understand the whole thing and also the Mockito thing to understand the mocking. But if you understand JUnit and mocking, there is nothing really uh, great in here. It's quite a simple unit test. Uh, the other thing we want to do is to be able to unit test a post service. So we have an example for that as well. So this is a post service. So post service, here we are, we would want to register the student to this specific course. So when this particular uh, student is registered to the course, we would want to uh, return the ID of the course he has registered to back. So what we are doing is when he's registered to that course, we return the uh, re response identity with the location header containing the ID of the request. So it will return slash student, slash student one, slash courses, slash course one. That's the thing which would be returned back in here. So when we execute the, when we write the unit test for the post service, we would want to check that out as well. So what we want to do in the unit test is we would want to send some body. So we would want to send some uh, sample body to this URI in a post and see if I get a status back of 201. And also I would want to see if the response contains the URI of the created resource. So those are the things I would want to check in my unit test. So you would see that the unit test is very similar to what we have for the get, except that we would have a little bit of different asserts. One of the things that we would need to do in create a student, so it's to register a course with a student. So I'm basically setting up the student.service.add course to return the mock course back. And what we are doing next is to send course as the body. So when I send a post request, I need to set the body to have the example course JSON. The example course JSON is defined in here at the top. So I'm sending this string out. So I'm saying name string description is 10 steps. Uh, the steps are learn Maven and other steps which are present in here. The reason why I have to use slash is because I have to escape it. So within this, this string, I want to send a double quote. So I have to escape it everywhere. So that's the reason why the example JSON looks like this. So we are sending this example JSON as the body of the request. So we are saying this is the content of the request. Take this content and send it to this URL. So what this does is it would send a request to this specific URL with this content. And what we are doing is we are executing the request in here. And we are taking the response. And in the response, we are getting the response header. So we are 
getting the first is we are asserting that the response status is created that's created you'd see that created has a status of 201 actually so 201 is created so that's basically what you see would be the status of the request once the resource is properly created and the other thing we are checking is if the header location contains the URI of the created resource so because we gave an ID of one so if you look at the course we are giving it an ID of one so it should in the response we should have uh, this as the URI in the header location those are the things we are asserting in the post request the idea behind this particular video was to give you a quick overview of how you would do unit testing with um, Spring Boot so one of the things I would really request you to do recommend you to do is to spend some time with the article on the website the link to article would be in the description of this particular video all the code that we are using in this specific example in this video is in here so complete code example is in here I'll also add in a zip uh, to this particular page with the entire content which you can import it as a Maven project so all that you need to do is file import Maven project and you'd be able to import that code at in 28 minutes our focus is on making you an expert at Spring Boot. We have created a complete website on Spring Boot at www.springbootshutorial.com. The link in the description of video would take you to a page where you find details of all the courses, videos and the articles we have created on Spring Boot. If you love our videos, you would love our courses too. Our courses have great reviews on Udemy. You can see some of the reviews in here. And there are also articles on basics of Spring Boot, auto configuration, startup projects, startup parent, less services, web application, all the code examples. We have Maven projects which are present which you can directly import into Eclipse and start running them and other references as well. This page would be a great start for you to become an expert on Spring Boot. You might also want to visit our website www.in28minutes.com all other courses other than Spring Boot as well. Thank you for all the support you are providing us. We would not have grown to 52,000 on Udemy. We would not have such great reviews on courses on Udemy without your support. We would not have been able to grow to 28,000 subscribers and more than 3 million views without your support. We want you to learn and make best uses of all the courses that we have. Good luck and I will see you in the next video or the course. Until next time, here's Ranga from In28 Minutes signing off.